Hi, this is Yetzka Wildrod in Claremont, California, and we're about to take a look into the set of the new short film titled Train and Miles. In 1996, I first had the idea to do a story about Miles Davis. I didn't have the time and place, but I knew I wanted to do a story about Miles. And then last September, I'm on the set of a show called Potla, and who's in the show? Rico Ross and Travis Henson, Train and Miles. And I'm looking at them, I'm going, he's Train, he's Miles, and I'll make it about the both of them. And I thought, well, rather than do a wholly ambitious feature to start with, do it as a short. That was the first idea. Train and Miles has a certain kind of flavor that uh, I just think the public could, could really learn to appreciate without too much effort and it would be uh, something great to uh, give people access to. Brian created a really cool environment where it was sort of this sort of hazy kind of old-fashioned looking film, um, beautiful light coming through. So the tone visually is definitely there, and then the tone of the script hopefully is that it's uh, kind of these people reminiscing about this very important period with old Miles Davis looking back, these two guys, and how they were breaking off and going into different directions after this. So it's got a, it's, you know, it's a nostalgic tone. When, when this music came out, I was uh, in, in elementary school and I discovered it on a radio that my dad had uh, put together on the kitchen table before they were available in stores. I fell in love with that as a little kid, you know, and with the way that uh, a kid loves something. We hope that this music reaches out to anyone that likes a good story, who wants to hear about a man who had all different kind of musical tastes and had different kind of uh, genres and uh, kind of get a little glimpse on who he really was, you know, because he was sort of a, a mystery. I can't tell you how many times their music has popped into my mind and, and just kind of like replayed um, numerous times over, over my years. You know, it's just. Uh, something cool, something fascinating, something amazing, uh, something exciting and intriguing. And you know, these are, if there are two important figures in the last 50 to 60 years of jazz, it's Miles Davis and John Coltrane. Anyone who likes contemporary or modern jazz has to look at these guys as two of the most important people who came out of jazz, who was really the epitome of cool, from the late 40s all the way till he died in the early 1990s. So he had a long run, a 40 year run as like kind of the king of jazz. We're trying a new thing here. It's cooking. Very good, that's it. That's a wrap on the set of Train and Miles. If you want to keep updated, follow us on Twitter at Train and Miles or visit us on the web www.trainandmiles.com. This is Tanya Velasquez. Thanks for watching.